Today I'd like to talk a little bit about um, the laminar geometry in dune and ripple cross stratification. This comes from a question from one of my students in class today. So we'll start with traction, where the grains are mostly rolling here. When the grain gets to the crest of a ripple or dune, it rolls off and it doesn't go very far. What happens is the grains pile up and eventually you get an avalanche of grains coming down and the grains move down until they hit this uh, spot where the slope starts is flat or starts going up and they stop there. So the geometry of lamina when you have avalanching tends to have um, a very sharp, steep angle between the lamina and the erosion surface or the bounding surface on the set. So when you have grains that are rolling, you tend to have a sharp angle right at this point. Okay, so the geometry is different when the grains are mostly saltating as opposed to rolling. So with saltating grains, they get lifted up into the flow by the Bernoulli effect, and they hop downstream much farther. When you have a grain that's at the crest of the ripple um, and is picked up and saltated in the Bernoulli effect, it tends to go much farther past the crest of the ripple than a grain that's just rolling and might land here. In this case, you end up with deposition, possibly even when the slope is going up the back of the next ripple. So the geometry of lamina that you get with this style of transport tends to be very even and sort of grayed into the bounding set or the erosion surface here. The lamina tends to be far thinner farther from the crest because fewer grains get that far. So this is true for both ripples and dunes, and the geometry of the lamination tells you one of the main transport mechanisms uh, for the grains. I, are they rolling, and most of the transport on the, on the um, lee or down current side of the dune is by avalanching, or whether the grains are saltating and uh, making it much farther um, onto the back of the downstream ripple. And you can use that in the sedimentary record to help interpret sediment transport processes. Thanks for watching.